Hello everybody, this is Nick again with Top Automotive. I got this really cool 2008 Maserati and I wanted to talk a little bit about variator rattle. This is a common problem that you hear all the time. There's foreign boards and everybody talking about why their Maserati has a variator issue. Well, here's why. We have this uh, basically a uh, end cap for the variator uh, oil solenoid that goes in here that actuates the actual variator. This is a variator uh, end cap that has been already machined and modified to prevent this rattle on cold star, which happens from oil bleed back. And here is what causes this. This one has a check valve. This is also a problem with Ferraris as well as Maseratis. Uh, and what's happening is when this check valve is not installed or the original ones don't come with these, what will happen is eventually the oil will bleed down the system and actually go back into the oil pan. And as you crank it back up, there's no oil, so what it does is it rattles because the variators themselves, they're lubricated with oil. That's how they actuate. That's how the solenoid allows them to go to advance and retard back and forth. So when that's happening, it's ruining the variator adjusters themselves. So when the variator gets ruined, then you need to take apart the whole engine, replace the variator. So come on back here, I'll show you what, what I'm talking about. So we have the valve covers off. This is a pretty involved job. Um, if you decide to have this done, make sure it's done by a qualified Maserati specialist, somebody that understands these vehicles and uh, or works on European cars. But uh, the end cap goes in here just like this. Of course, when it's back installed, you're going to need to have grease and everything to make sure it doesn't ride dry on the cams. You don't want to do that. So that's why it's best when you have these little details are very important. If you miss these details, then you can damage your cams and everything else. Other thing you want to look for is when you remove these is you want to look for score marks. This one is really smooth. We actually had a little bit we were, we were able to get them removed. But if you have scoring here where you can feel them with the nail, it's a no-go. You have to get that fixed. Same thing goes for where they mate to the camshafts. If they're score marks, you're going to have problem with sound and it's just going to be an issue. You don't want to install anything that's going to be a problem again. So pretty much when you install these up, everything's aligned back. It will just do a couple starts back and forth pump up the oil and you should be good to go now if the noise continues and you still have noise as after when you do this repair here then your variators are ruined so typically if you know your variators are gone don't do this alone do the whole job do the variators do the end caps and then you're going to be guaranteed of course I would recommend timing chains guides and etc but that is it that's pretty much effective from 2006 really 2005 all the way up to, I believe it's 2013, they still had the issue, 2012, 2013. Uh, 2012 was one of those years, I believe they kind of solved some of them, because um, Ferrari had a TSB and Maserati had a technical service bulletin on it. But that's it, that's how you do it. I just wanted to thank everybody for watching. Again, have a nice day.